opportunity to renegotiate the union contract coming up later this year. The CAC recommends adding flexibility. And then I've got another uh, interesting uh, piece of information here. I've been uh, enrolled in the TriMet University Respectful Workplace. So, we are discussing it with a bunch of people, and uh, a lot of people are, uh, like, thinking that, oh, TriMet's trying to... Uh, set you up. If you learn something in the class and then you don't, you don't do it, you're going to get fired. I mean, it's a tremendous amount of paranoia here. And I'm not sure what the motivation is for me to be in here, but I'm sure it has something to do with what I, how I approach my job. However, a respectful workplace, from what I understand, is treating your, uh, your, your brother and sister employees with respect. Maybe some of them are not finding that I am, but I certainly have never made any of my uh, co-workers. Stay on schedule. Stay on schedule and be at the big gala event. Stay on schedule. 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 Stay on
And we want to tell you how much we appreciate the end of that CSI policy. That's like the biggest really? event that's happened in my school. Oh, good. Yeah. I'm glad you like that. I'm looking at Miss Lyle. Yeah. It is. Lyle. Lyle, where have you been? <laughs> where, have, where have you been hiding? What have you been the training program. Oh. He's a master operator with 18 superior performance oh, awards. So, oh, oh, oh. we giving you the Grand Master. Oh. Dr. Flasher, can you give us some uh, words of wisdom? Ricardo Moto about it. Yeah, didn't he look good, man? We haven't made a video of him in quite a while. He's been, he's been a star on our blog. And look at how good he looks today. All right, there. Tell us the secret of his success, Operator Lau. The good hand over the armrest. Over the armrest. He looked good in Vegas. See, right. now I understand. Yeah, see. That's good. Where's the pack? Give the pack. It's good. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, very good. Do you have any uh, comments for us, Mr. Lau? <laughs> we always get pearls of wisdom from you. Do you have any? Well, the bus mall was only between Burnside and Madison. That's where all of the stops were uniform. They were built out. Of the, the shelters all looked the same. That's where the beaver was, the snowflake, the deer, all that stuff. It was only between Burnside and Madison. Now it's the entire length of downtown from Union Station to PSU. All the shelters are the same, all the equipment's the same, the cameras, everything, for 56 blocks. The Portland Mall is divided into three sections. There is North Mall, Central, and South, and we're going to go over each of those sections. Well, we just got done talking with Bruce about the CSI issue, and uh, it turns out that the uh, new policy had left out union representation for anybody that has some kind of a complaint. It's not, it's not defined that uh, employee should be represented by a union official if they're called in regarding a complaint. And also, there were uh, a lot of uh, mays and could, in other words, the company could offer, may offer to retrain, or could offer to retrain, but at, but could also fire you. So, so Bruce is saying you have to say will offer to retrain or will offer to recounsel. Oh, this is about something else. I've been getting some feedback about the Reed Group, the Reed Group who does fe the FEMLA stuff. And it's really bad. That One thing that I've heard is that you have, if you send a claim in, they tell you, well, if you don't hear from us, that means it's denied. I mean, that's actually happening. That's what they tell the op operators. If you don't hear from us, that means it's denied.